caramel pudding. Simple, easy to make and yummy. Let's get started. To begin with, boil 500 ml milk. Add a Murray biscuit to the hot milk to help the setting of pudding better. Add 9 tablespoons sugar to the hot milk. Take 5 eggs and beat them. After the eggs are beaten till fluffy, beat the milk with the Mari biscuit. Now add the sweetened milk to the beaten eggs. Thereafter, beat the mixture again. Now make the caramel with 2 tablespoons sugar. Add a little water. This caramel pudding is my all time favorite since childhood. It's my mother's recipe. She's no more, but her recipe still lives on. My hubby boy likes to have my delicacies after he is done with painting and canvas. This pudding is also his all time favorite. I love cooking and trying of new dishes. I love trying all my mother's recipes. Her traditional delicacies are still fresh down in my memory. Peas pulao, sarpatel, beef shakuti and so many other dishes were prepared by her. Come a village feast and there would be a big spread from her. She was a unique chef for all of us and in the neighborhood as well. Her mouth-watering dishes would make all our relatives flock to our place in Wien. I know to cook all the dishes and very soon I will be posting more of my videos. Please do not forget to hit like and subscribe to this channel which is my husband's channel. As a child, I would love to have more of desserts than the main course for our functions. Besides this caramel pudding, I will be posting videos of other desserts like fruit overload, jewel desert, gajar ki kheer and bakes like semolina cake and semolina pudding. Please do not forget to hit like and subscribe. Please do like and subscribe my husband's paintings which are so vibrant and eye-catching.
do stay tuned bye Turn the utensil for a while. Once it is golden brown, the caramel is ready. Now add the pudding mixture into the vessel. Now the mixture is ready for steaming. The steaming should be for half an hour only. Now comes the time for steaming. This should be kept here in the center. Then put the pudding mixture. Then cover it. And for a little more weight, keep this for weight. That is it. Let it steam for half an hour. It's exactly half an hour now and it's time to remove the pudding. Let's check it for a while. Here we go. It's come out clean. The pudding is ready. Now ready, make sure to free the sides before unmolding. Go ahead and unmold carefully. Enjoy!